All right, today I'm gonna to talk to y'all about uh, trimming a pot. I'm using a Griffin Griff. Um, this is a really useful tool um, that makes recentering your pot and holding it on the bat very easy. All right, you do kind of have to manipulate it and make sure that it stays there tight. You're gonna use a couple tools. Um, so this trimming tool is great for getting off a bulk. And then I've got a couple of smaller ones. Um, I've heard these called ribbon, ribbon trimming tools. Um, and then I also like to use a metal scraper as well. Um, before I start, um, so kind of the purpose of trimming is to make the outside reflect on the inside. Um, there's often kind of a little bit of excess clay in the bottom that we want to trim off uh, to make these walls nice and even um, and give the pot a little visual lift from the table. Um, before you start, make sure you understand how thick the bottom is so you know how far you can trim. Um, this one I did for a demo and the bottom is pretty thin so we're not going to do a whole lot with that. I'm going to smooth this out a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to leave that bottom piece alone. All right. So this tool is great for getting off like a fair amount of weight. I recommend always using your tools with two hands. So I'm holding it, the handle in my right hand, and then I'm kind of gripping the little nose sort of space here while also keeping a finger on top of the pot. Uh, just to make sure, you know, maybe there's a little bit of grog in there and your tool catches, we do not want the pot to fly off um, the wheel. All right, so your clay, if it's at the right uh, dampness, should kind of come off in these little um, ribbony chocolate shaving kind of pieces. It kind of reminds me of uh, also like when you peel a carrot, a little carrot peel. All right. Make sure you're holding your tool very steady you do not, just like when you're throwing, you don't want the clay to move you around. And when you're trimming, you don't really have to like press in. You know, if your tool is sharp, you should be able to just kind of hold it here gently and let it do the work for you. All right, so now to make but let's smooth this guy a little more. I'm gonna turn this around. And start pulling a little clay that way. Um, this is also where you can use one of these guys. So you can use that squared edge if you like or the round, depending on what you're going for, what is your goal with this shape, what's your aesthetic. I use these little tools a lot, and I even have like a smaller set as well. And of course, not every pot has a foot. That is fine. Um, I like to give the pot a little bit of visual lift from the surface on which it's sitting. So I like to do a little indentation here. All right, so from here, if this was a little thicker, I would 
make a little mark for where I wanted the foot to go. And then I would go ahead and pull some clay out of the middle. This is as far as I'm gonna go because I think if I trim much more than that, it is going to cut through the base. And I'm hoping to use this as a mug rather than a flower pot. This is also a time when you can add a little bit of um, more shape detail in if you want to. I have some little lines like that a little farther up on the pot that I did when throwing. Maybe you want to keep something like that. All right, so now, got a little bit of lift. It's not as heavy. I can feel this and see the, tell that I can still pull a little clay away from right here. It's a little thicker in that spot. Uh, this is where the grip and grip's really handy. You can just get it right back in the center and trim there again. So I'm just gonna check it out again. All right, much better. We want even walls for even firing. And there you go. That's how to trim a cup.